Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. And here we finally have the final level, stage five, for Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon. And so I've really enjoyed this game up until this point. Um, and I can't wait to play through it again once I actually get through this final level. And so we are on a floating ship. And this looks like the boat that's actually on the very first stage of the Bloodstain full game that will be coming out on PlayStation 4, on Xbox One, and of course on Steam. So this is probably going to be the more difficult route down here. And I do look forward to playing through it again uh, and taking different routes that I couldn't before. Oops. Hopefully I don't die. Alright, I have no idea what happened there. Uh, but I obviously became part of the picture. Okay, that was pretty difficult. Let me see if I could figure out this pattern because that's not a good thing because all my characters get killed like that. Okay. Okay. So once you get captured, you're dead. Oh, okay. So I guess the trick there is make sure it doesn't do that. <laughs> Kill it first. Okay, I'm going to use her first. Because that character takes up a lot of energy when he hits you. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you gotta stay down. That's how that works. Well, it's really hard to hit this person when they're like flying up there. Alright. Okay, just don't get hit. Hmm. And then save that. Okay, I think I got him. Whoa, that is cool. Whoa, okay, that is not cool. Wow. I don't know what happened there. That was pretty awesome. Very difficult stage. I think that was the hardest stage I've played so far. Let's see what happens there. Whoa. So not <laughs> now here's the final stage. Crazy. All right. Oh yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, that's a new enemy. I've never seen that enemy before. Wow, that is some really hard enemies. Okay. Alright, I think this is it. This is Carmen. Come on. Alright. Luckily, I have all four characters. All right. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to jump up on these. Yep. Whoa. That is crazy.
Whoa. Oh my. Oh my. This is. This is crazy how much. Whoa. Okay, you cannot avoid that. Wow. I think I think that was it. No. Oh wow. There's one more stage. Oh man. This is crazy. I would have to say that I don't think she was as hard as the um the mini boss, the electric boss of the, the stage before, that one was a lot harder. And you really have to think about where you're going to go in this stage because you could drop and die really quick. Just blew up on me. Oh wow, that looks crazy. Oh. Oh wow, that didn't last long. Okay, this looks like it's it. Oh wow, this is crazy crazy. All right, I'm hoping this is the final boss finally because that stage was crazy hard. Okay, that, oh wow. Okay, I have no idea who that is. Oh, that's the one sending all this crazy red stuff which I absolutely hate all right I think this guy's gonna kill her He's gonna be the savior so I can't Oh yeah! Wow. That old man, <laughs> that wizard actually saved me. <laughs> with all the hits he got for the fire. Okay. Wow. Oh please. Still not over? Oh no. This is crazy. Okay, I can't even hit her. Okay. I can't hit her. Okay. I had no way of hitting her. Yes! Yes!
Wow. That was crazy hard. That's what I loved about Castlevania, and now that's what I love about Bloodstained. That was definitely not easy. Oh, yeah. I can't believe Zengetsu saved all of them. Sweet. Wow. There's such a twist on it because now Zengetsu is the dark one. Because uh, I think after he absorbed all the dark energy, he became the dark lord. But it's kind of funny because when you see the preview of the Finnish blood stain, you actually see Gebo as the main bad guy. Man, that was so awesome. Well worth it. And the great thing is now, now that I've passed it, I could actually go back and uh, try it out with all the four characters and any new abilities that I have. This was an absolutely awesome game. And boy, that last part, stage five, which is multiple stages in one actually, was extremely difficult. Um, total time I played this was probably two hours almost and so I'm going to actually cut this particular episode down further because I've died so many times. My hat's off to Iga and the entire development team. I know there was a different development team that did Bloodstain uh, versus the actual modern Bloodstain. So this Bloodstain Curse of the Moon, a different team did this one uh, versus uh, Iga's main team who's actually doing the modern telling of this but this curse of the moon was definitely something that was unexpected but so awesome i do hope that they do come out with sequels to curse of the moons or spin-off um i will play do another playthrough on this but with all the new characters so i definitely won't be doing a level by level maybe i'll just be highlighting some things that i found on here such an awesome game this reminds me of all the great things about 8-bit gaming. It's just gaming in general. I'm not even sure what that character's name is. But yeah, she was extremely difficult. NT Curates. Excellent job. So that's it for this long series for Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. If you had any thoughts on anything that I had played through this whole game on or any of your own thoughts... Uh, be sure to leave it in the comments area below and you can see that nightmare mode has been unlocked. And if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you on another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.